It aids for today's presentations on sampling distributions of sample means and histogram. In this lesson, you will learn how to construct sampling distributions of sample means. Sampling distributions of sample means can be defined as the frequency distribution using the means computed from all possible random samples of a specific size taken from a population. So let's have our first example. A population consists of a numbers 2, 4, 9, 10, and 5. Let us uh, list all possible samples of size 3 from these populations and compute the mean of each sample. Unang uh, table natin consists of two columns, the sample and the mean. Then we are asking for the samples of size 3. So, kunin natin ito from this uh, population, 2, 4, 9, 10, and 5. So, let us take the first three numbers. That are the 2, 4, and 9. So, unang sample natin. The next sample is 2, 4, 10. Then, 2, 4, 5. Then, after that is 2, 9, 10. The next is 2, 9, 5. Then, 2, 10, 5. The next is 4, 9, 10. Then, 4, 9, 5. 4, 10, 5. Then, lastly, is 9, 10, 5. So, to find the mean of each uh, sample, so, i-add lang natin 2 plus 4 plus 9. That is, uh, is equal to 15. Since we have the 3 uh, numbers here, divide by 3, 15 divide 3 is 5. For our sample number 2, uh, 2 plus 4 plus 10 is equal to 16. Uh, divide by 3, that is 5.33. Then we can use the, the same procedure as we do on the one, sample 1 and 2 to compute the mean of each uh, sample. We are now listed all the sample size of 3 with its corresponding mean. So we may now proceed to construct the sampling distributions of sample means. So we have here the table of 3 columns on a sample mean. That is represented by x bar, then the frequency, and the probability of sample mean. That is also represented by x bar. So, unang uh, sample mean natin. Okay, we are kunin natin from the lowest uh, mean, that is 3.67. The frequency is 1. Isang uh, 3.67 na mabilang natin. The next is 5.0. And we have also the frequency 1. Then, the next is 5.33 and it written twice. So, kita natin dalawa yung 5.33 and the frequency is 2. After uh, 5.33, so next is 5.67. After uh, 5.67, that is uh, 6.00. Then, the remaining uh, mean from our first table, so let natin down to and with its corresponding frequency you know, 1 and 6 is 1 6.33 33 is 1 up to 8 is 1 then bilangin natin lahat ang frequency that is equal to n is equal to 10 for our probability since uh, 3.67 has one frequency out of 10 the probability is 1 over 10 or 0 0.10 same with the 5.0 as one frequency. 5.33 as two frequency, two out of 10. That is 0 0.20. And same with the other uh, one frequency. Then add all the probabilities to get the 1.00. So this is how we construct the sampling distribution of sample means. 
Lastly, I draw a histogram of sampling distributions on the y-axis, the probability of the sample mean or the p of x bar and the sample mean on the x uh, axis. So, we have here the three columns yung nakuha natin kanina, the sample mean, frequency, and the probability. And the probability, the number line here is 1 over 10 and 2 over 10. And the other probabilities uh, with the same value, isulat lang natin ng is isang basis. That is 1 over 10 and the other is 2 over 10. And for the sample means, so we have here the 3.67, 5.0 down to 8.0. So we have to sketch the graph, the sample mean against the probability, the sample mean here 3.67 against the 1 over 10, yan ang ating uh, shaded region for our histogram, then 5.0, same with the probability, that is 1 over 10, then the 5.33, the probability is 2 over 10, and the other sample mean, with the same probabilities 1 over 10 up to 8.0 which is the sample mean and the probability is 1 over 10 and uh, ginagamit natin itong histogram to summarize discrete or continuous data that are measured on an interval scale for our learning activity I'll kindly answer a problem set uh, A and B